Cats over the Beavers, 57 to 34. Time for the Sean Miller postgame interview. Coach, congratulations on the win, 20th win of the season for your team, nine and one in the or eight and one in the conference now. As you make the turn in the schedule, we were just talking before you got here about the fact that you know Oregon State's a very good defensive team, one of the best in the conference, and to beat a good de defense, you have to play better defense. And was that really the, the turning point for your team tonight to play outstanding defense? You know it was, Brian, uh, and obviously very proud of our defensive effort. Uh, anytime you hold a team to 34 points, um, and I know they were very deliberate, um, it's tough to criticize what we did, especially when you start going deeper. They shot 28% from the field, 3 for 15, 20% from 3, and, and they only shot 5 free throws and had 17 turnovers. So tonight's win was definitely a function of teamwork on defense, a lot of guys played very, very hard, played together. T.J. McConnell with eight steals. It's hard to get eight steals in, in eight games, let alone eight steals in 30 minutes. And his steals were really those types of steals of being in the right place at the right time. And uh, he's obviously playing at a very high level right now. And you look at Stanley. Stanley maybe didn't score as many field goals tonight, but he had nine defensive rebounds, which is outstanding. And then Brandon with 12 and 6, Rondé with 11 points. And, you know, Rondé, you always remember who he's guarding. And I thought he did an outstanding job on Gary Payton when he was on him. So uh, it, was a, it was a team win, um, certainly in the beginning of the second half. I wish we had that over four consecutive turnovers. And there was times where we didn't score against their zone. But I'm here to tell you, Oregon State plays an excellent zone. You know, sometimes, you know, you don't do well, and, and it's always, well, what could we have done better? Sometimes the, the the story is simply, they're pretty good at what they do. Let's give credit to them. And they have a center in the game at all times who's very physical and athletic. Gary Payton on defense, very well coached. And you know what? There's not too many teams in this country that's just going to go through that zone. So uh, for us, it was a hard-fought victory. We expected it. And now we have a week to get ready for Arizona State. Big turnaround in the second half on the rebounding side. Your team was out-rebounded in the first half, dominated the glass in the second half. Is that just a matter of, hey, guys, we got to go get the boards? Or, or where, where did they get that inspiration, I, I guess, to, to get more rebounds in the second half? We were more aggressive. Um, and, you know, when you're tentative on offense, you can certainly become tentative trying to go after the ball, getting second shots. And uh, we settled in. And once we settled in um, and were more confident, I think that led to a lot of guys giving great effort. But you're right. We turned the rebounding advantage towards us, out-rebounding them 37 to 27. In our first game, they had more rebounds than us, and that was one of the reasons they were able to come out on top. You mentioned T.J. McConnell, another outstanding game tonight. Uh, Gabe York ran some point tonight for you. Looked like he did a solid job in there with, with Parker not able to play. He did, and, you know, point guard is the one position that's always different. We've prepared Gabe, and he's prepared himself really from the fall. You always want to have three players that can play that position, and when you're asked to do it in a game, it's not easy, and I thought he did a really good job especially because he's playing point guard against a very difficult zone. So he, he filled in for Parker, and, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to get Parker back as this week moves on towards Arizona State. What about the plans now for the next week? Because you don't have a game until a week from tomorrow. Do the guys get any extra rest, or what do you have mm -hmm. planned? We do. You know, we'll take tomorrow off, obviously, and we'll do something on Sunday, not a full-blown practice. And probably have our first real practice on Monday. Tuesday will be off, so we give them an extra day. And then once we get to Wednesday, it's it's starting to point towards the Saturday at 2.30. But Saturday's game at 2.30 is a huge game for us. Uh, we recognize who we're playing, where the game's played. I don't think any of us really felt good about the ending of last year's game. And we have quite a few guys that were in that game a year ago. So we have to be ready. We know that's going to be uh, a great environment, and we know we're playing against an opponent that uh, on their home court is a, a very good team. Great. Congratulations to the one coach. We'll see you there. Thank you, Mark. All right, head coach Sean Miller here courtside at McHale Center where the Wildcats beat the Oregon State Beavers 57-34. to